Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize and get better performance in all new Valorant episode 9 dropped recently. I hope this video helps here, so make sure to stick around till the end. And with all that said, let's get started. All right, step number one is the essential of Windows settings. And for that, open up settings on your PC. Once you're here, go all the way down to gaming, go over to game bar and turn this thing off. Game bar turned off will give you better FPS and better performance because it consumes less resources. Right after that, go back to gaming, open up game mode and turn this thing back on. Game mode turned on will help you to reduce the applications and services running in the background, ultimately giving you better FPS. Right beneath that, you'll find graphic settings. Simply go over there, click on change default graphic settings and enable both hardware extra GP shielding as well as optimizations for windowed games. Both of them will ensure that you're using your GP for rendering your games as well as reducing your input latency. Right after that, go back to your graphics and then click on the browse button right over here. Come to the shooter game binaries win64 and you'll find the win64 shipping.exe. Simply add this in the list as well. Once you find it, simply go over to options and then click on high performance and then click on save. Simply do the same for the Win64 shipping. Click on options, click on high performance, and then click on save. After that, close your settings and let's move to step number two that is compatibility settings. For that, once again, open up Valorant, go over to shooter game, binaries Win64, and you'll find in Valorant Win64 shipping.exe. Simply right click on that and then go over to properties, then go to compatibility and then select disable full screen optimizations, as well as click on high DPI settings. Enable this option and then click on OK and then click on OK once again. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors, which is legit, reliable, and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin, as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I, however, liked how convenient it is to get a genuine Windows key since I do not like the activate Windows watermark on my screen and to fix it, I can literally get a Windows key for a huge discount. Generally, you can get Windows 11 Pro for $235.99, but on this sale, you can get it for $32.23. And if you use my code FOX25, you can get additional 25% off at just $16.31. And you also have Windows 11 update for free. And it is perfect time to get rid of that Windows activation mark. There are multi-bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Step number three is disabling startup applications. And for that, press Control, Shift and Escape all together on your PC and then Task Manager will open right in front of you. Go over to Startup Apps and over here, disable all unwanted applications that you do not frequently use. This will ensure that less number of applications and services running on your PC since the boot and it will also reduce your last BIOS time. After that, simply close the software. Next step is deanimating your windows and this is super essential. Search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and then select adjust for best performance. After that, select save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons as well as smooth edges of screen fonts. This will make sure that your window is completely de-animated, reducing all unwanted animations and the processes. After that, go to the advanced section and then processor scheduling, set this thing to programs. Then for the virtual memory, click on the change button, deselect automatically manage paging file size and then for the custom size set it to 1361 and for the maximum size open up your calculator as well as system information on your pc once you're here look at your install physical memory that is 32 gigabytes for me simply multiply it with 1024 and you'll get your memory size in megabytes divide this whole value by two and the value that you get over here is what you have to paste in the maximum size simply click on set and then click on ok and this is how you optimally set your virtual memory memory for gaming. Next step is disabling sysmain and for that search for a services on your PC and then once it opens up search for sysmain in this list. Once you find it right click on that and go over to properties and then startup type set this thing to disabled click on apply and then click on ok and this will ensure that you get extra FPS and reduce your input latency as well. 
Alright, next step is fixing all of your internet issues using NoPing. NoPing is pro's choice to get rid of all of your internet connection issues and you can simply download it from the link in the description below. Once you open up this software, it looks like this. And over here, you can simply look up for your game Valorant, simply click on select the server and once you're here, you can choose the nearest server to you. For me, it will be Mumbai 01 as it is the closest server to me. Then simply click on optimize this game and it will help you to one click optimize your game. NoPing helps you to turn your internet straight from your PC to the game servers without any hindrance which will ultimately help you to fix all of your internet issues, packet loss, ping issues, latency and so much more. The best part about this application is the settings gear right over here wherein you can enable turbo games to improve your keyboard response and then boost FPS and over here you can enable these options to gain extra FPS on your PC. Once again no ping will help you to increase the performance of your ethernet and your ping so make sure you go check out no ping from the link in the description below. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and over here search for local disk C click on create and name it Valorant just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys and to skip this step because if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss you can always do that. Once that is done, simply click on close and then close system properties. Next up is the Valorant episode 9 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You can simply go and check it out or you can join my Discord server for a detailed download and tutorial. Over here, you'll find in five simple folders. The first one is the CPU priority in which you'll find AMD and Intel CPU priority. Once again, if you have an AMD CPU, you can double click and run the AMD CPU priority. However, if you have an Intel CPU, you can double click and run the Intel CPU priority. After that, go to the Valorant priority and over here, I have left three files. Simply leave your computer specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which one to choose from over here and once again if you don't like it you can always reset it back to default from the normal priority. Third folder is RAM optimization in which I have left a ton of presets according to your memory. I have 32 GB RAM so I need to run this one. It could be different for you so you can pick it from the list and once again you can always reset it back to default right over here. Fourth one is the input lag fix in which I have left keyboard fix. Once again you have to leave your keyboard specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which one to choose from in this buffer and for mouse input latency fix you can use the fix mouse delay but if you have a trackpad on a laptop you can skip with the pointer precision because it will make your trackpad incredibly slow after that you'll find a park cpu you can simply run this application once it opens up, you can see a simple interface like this and you'll find enable and park course. Windows by default has a tendency to park your cores which are not in use, ultimately reducing your game performance. To fix that, you can simply slide this index all the way to 100% and as soon as you click on it, you'll find that all of your CPU cores are now enabled. Not just that, set your system power plan to high performance so you can use your PC's power efficiently. After that, simply close it and drop into the game for the best in game settings. Okay, once you're in your game, go over to settings and then click on video. Over here in the general settings, for the display mode, set this thing to full screen. Resolution should be your native resolution. Monitor should be your native monitor. And then turn off a limit FPS on battery and limit FPS in backgrounds. All of these should be turned off. Nvidia reflex low latency should be set to on plus boost. After that, click on graphics quality and then multi-threaded rendering up. Make sure to turn this thing on because it will use all your CPU. So if you have a CPU with more than four cores, you'll have this option. So simply turn this thing on. All of the qualities should be set to low. Vignette should be set to off. V-Sync should be off. Anti-aliasing. 2x would work but if it's giving you fps issues set this thing to off anisotropic filtering 2x and then everything over here should be turned off once that is done simply click on close and now you're ready to play valorant with the best fps possible so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have made sure to leave a like and smash the subscribe button it really helps me out grow the channel we are really close to 200,000 subscribers and your subscription would really help me out a ton we'll see you guys in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out